Welcome once again to Pop Black. And so we come to the last game in group number one. A very important game indeed because the winner will qualify for the semi-finals. And here's why. Steve Davis has qualified. He's won two frames. Willie Thorne at the moment is in second place. He's only won one frame, but both Kirk Stevens and Ray Reardon have won a frame, and it's frames that take precedence, of course. So the winner of this frame between Kirk Stevens and Ray Reardon will go through into the semi-final. Well, that's the situation, and what a situation it is. Let's meet the players concerned. And first, a man of many titles, six times world champion, pop black champion, and runner-up in the 1982 World Championships, Ray Reardon. <laughs> and the former Canadian champion and 1982 world quarter-finalist, Kirk Stevens. Your referee, John Williams. Your commentator, Ted Lowe. Kirk Stevens has won the toss and will break. The 24-year-old Canadian breaks off. The man who's found his way to five finals of pot black. He's won it twice. has a loose red on either side of the table. Making sure that cue ball got back down towards that bulk cushion. A little disturbed with something on the end of his cue there and changing his mind. And it could be a sad mistake for him. Unfortunately for Redden, the black has gone into the pack. the reds and is indeed the pink one attempted to force the cue ball down the table but uh, not easy because he was fairly straight on that red. Green ball. Ray Reardon, one. Reardon, of course, knows every angle of the safety game.
The balls are already in awkward positions. The black and pink, as I mentioned just now, are tied up. Uh, the blue is also difficult, as is the green. A red between them, making it difficult to pot either of those, unless you get, unless you get perfect position on them. And once again, he chalks the tip of his cue. And he was a long way off. Brings the black out. Out into the open now. I don't think Ray will be very happy about that. Chance of a fine cut here into the centre pocket. Oh! oh. <laughs> what an extraordinary shot. Ray Reardon, four. Cue ball kissing the uh, red and a black and then disappearing into the centre. smile that covers all sorts of thoughts. Are they both terribly anxious? The winner of this match will find themselves in the semi-final. <coughs> Redden, the elder statesman again plays it safe. This is only Kirk Stevens' second uh, appearance in Pop Black. He first appeared in 1981. I think he has the black into the top pocket if he wants it. A red hanging over this right hand top pocket. Black. Suddenly then, the frame blossoms. Nine. No. 
Ray Reardon, nine. Black remains on the lip of the pocket. A chance here for one into the top, but it means splitting the reds. And my word, what has Kirk Stevens done this time? He's a little bit fortunate in as much the cue ball as you can see has come very close to a red. In fact, John Williams is checking and he's given Ray Redden a touching ball. No. <laughs> Not really. Redden states that it makes no difference to him at all. He wants the red into the center pocket. Very awkward to cue there, of course, uh, over the top of the red, the cue ball being so close to it. And so the fortunes of the frame change. One. Eight. Nine. And he's run out of position. Extraordinary overcut that one. It was a very nine. fine cut. Just five points in it then. So far in this very important match, no fireworks. One. Raise just the wrong side of the blue. Six. Seven. Back into his favorite position. The second red above the pink uh, is a possible one. I think that's the one that Ray's looking at, but he's changing his mind and going back. Fifteen.
And this time he's on that red. 22. Slowly but surely, the former world champion creeps 23. forward. 23. Cue ball there, and the third red down is the one for the centre pocket. But it looks to me as though he's going to take it into the bottom. Great shot. 31. A little sip of water for Kirk as he waits his turn at the table. Forty six remains on the pink. to 52. 52. Kirk Stevens now in a lot of trouble. He requires at least a couple of stickers. Sixty. He's got a chance of claiming the highest break here. Sixty-one. It still remains in the hands of Tony Knowles with a break of eighty-seven. Sixty-four. Sixty-six. He wants these remaining five colors for a break of ninety-one. Sixty-nine. Looks a bit straight on the brown. Seventy three. The whole audience, like church mice. Seventy eight.
84. Requires this plaque for the highest break. 91. Kirk Stevens then made several mistakes at the early part, but there was no chance of him getting back to the table once Reardon got into his rhythm. A magnificent break of 91 to hold now the highest break of pop back 83. So, Ray Reardon into the semi-final. And where were the two gentlemen concerned? First of all, Kirk. Tough one, <laughs> tough one wasn't it? <laughs> Yeah. <coughs> oh, I missed a few chances earlier on. And <clears throat> once I'd missed that green, uh, Ray really got going, and he wasn't out of position once after that, I don't think. He Not really, no. Dirty dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, did, well, yeah. you didn't have many chances um, when you were well, at the table. Well, I did. I did have a few chances earlier on. I think we watched the same game. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but I, I see. It was ten, vi ten, ten, ten visits before you actually scored. Ten. Thanks. I'm glad you kept that down. <laughs> I thought I'd keep that, yeah, just in case. But, yeah. you know, yeah. nice to have you with us, I've Kirk. I've enjoyed playing. Thanks very That's much terrific. for having me. That's terrific. Right. And, of course, the old fella here. I have to call him the old fella because, you know, he was the first... Well, I had, a, I had a chat with Eddie before. And it was a blow <laughs> for the veterans, really. You know, <laughs> <laughs> but commiserations to, to Kirk. But... We, we both had some chances in the beginning, but they were half chances. Yeah. And coming on sort of without any practice, and mm -hmm. you don't want half chances, really. Mm -hmm. The only good chance that we did have, I had it in when Kirk missed the green in the middle, that difficult green in the middle. And that was the only really good chance where you could do something. Yeah. Okay. I think that sums it up. We both yeah. missed some chances, but they were half chances, and you don't need half chances. You need good chances. And I had one, and fortunately, it worked out right. Very right nice indeed, because 91 is now the highest break of the series. And here, by the way... Yes, is, is but I can't see that lasting. You can't? No, no, no. Well, 110 is the highest ever, so 91 is uh, very close. I can see that going as well. All right, then. Oh, yeah. Well, here, look, here, here's, the score, here's the score at the end of your group. Steve at the top <laughs> there, having won two, 238. Uh, Ray, you're in second place. Willie in third place, and Kirk in fourth place. So, Steve and Ray, you're into the semi-finals. Now... Our next game is from group number two. And this is very, very important indeed because it's Tony Knowles against Eddie Charlton, another deciding match for the semi-finals. So we hope you'll join us then. Goodbye. <laughs>